London, New York, Paris, Milan, London, New York, Paris, Milan. She's got the whole world watching. She's the barometer of style. She's got every important designer. doing a lot of black around the eyes, perfected skin, nude lips, and a little bit of copper and a little bit of gold. So very metallic, very bohemian, but at the same time, you know, strong, almost rock and roll. They look great. Make me a deal and make it straight. Or sign and see you. The shows I did in New York and London, the makeup was pretty calm compared to this one. So it's fun. Chains in Acapulco, we are flying down to Rio. What I've done is use a Redken Hardware gel in the hair, damp hair, letting it dry naturally. So it has like this damp look, a separated look, and it's going to be in the girl's face. So it's a very sexy kind of cool looking girl at Kabali, always. But you know, it's a way of trying to sort of make it look sexy without it being campy and silly. When you're doing a sexy look, always try and sort of um, work one thing off another. There's a little tip there. Search for something new. I tell you, I got idea from that collection when I went to my museum because I have a big space where I keep all my pieces. I start to say, oh my God, that was fantastic. That was beautiful. That, and you, I copy, I copy myself at that time. <laughs> of Cavalli was there in one piece, in every centimeter of every piece was worked. Uh, we did really a lot of research, a lot of work. It's a girl from today, a woman from today, for tomorrow. One romantic, sexy, glamour woman, transparent but completely covered. One woman that she will, she will speak with the eyes. It's a woman that she's luminous inside. She was covered with chiffon, with muslin, but inside she is. A, she has an armor, a luminous armor inside. Feeling this hold for psi opulence with a bit of decadent decay. Many of the pieces, especially the jackets and the interesting details on those lovely glossy lacquered pieces, felt like ancient fabrications from Versailles.
beautiful clothes. We feel really nice being the one who, who they chose for this show. I'm wearing a, a big coat, which has fur inside and feathers outside. It's so dark blue, uh, silky pants, you know, and all these kind of things. Really kawaii. <laughs> that whole idea of the sequence that had a little bit of a, a bust accentuation actually beaded right into it. And you'll notice that captured under a lot of the printed chiffon, it was a brocade print, or of course the animale, which Mr. Cavalli is so known for. I have a little dress with this uh, scarf and feathers all over it. I actually think because of for our new stylist, we have a new collection, a fresh new collection of Cavalli, which I'm very excited about. I think it's a mix of just a dark, edgier girl, which I don't feel like they've ever gone that way. Keeping it simple, but a little more rock and edgy. I have to say, this is probably going to be one of my favorites from Milan. multiple layer upon layer, almost like a grand home where you collect over centuries fine things, be it paintings and tapestries and such, and all put into one room, it had that same sensibility to the fashion on the runway. here at Cavalli where he took the idea of feathers and ombre the feathers into fur, which we have not seen a lot of on the runway this season. I'm just afraid that the 15 seconds that will be on the runway maybe not will be enough to appreciate the details of that collection because uh, special embroidery my technique on printing. Even a little bit of an inspiration of a kilt in a lot of the skirts that we were seeing on the runway. very special because we put it all on silk so it was very light. The pieces they weighed like uh, nothing and they are like cardigans on the body. idea of kind of opulent decay really coming through to me on the runway and of course always that rock and roll sensibility that a Cavalli woman loves and adores but I liked all that layering upon layering of things that felt ancient and yet modern very pretty collection for him moment of fashion. He had to be special. If you are special, you are the best. square today is very sort of outdoorsy. Think uh, Nicole Kidman in Cold Mountain. There's a little bit of tanning, bronzing. We're using kind of like golds and rusts on the eyes. Um, it's a very sort of like, you know, sexy, mysterious eye. This kind of like russet mouth and gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter, contour and blush. I 
I love makeup. You see, it's like all girls look like a cat, so it's dangerous. <laughs> we are dangerous. The hair is very, very cold mountain today. It's romantic, it's a little soft, it's, it's windswept, it's sort of pinned back just with a couple of pins, rolled up or braided down. Uh, but it's very real, it's got, a, it's got a slight Victorian feel to it too. Fantastic. They're so much fun and so sweet and it's really fun to do their show. I'm really happy to be here. The look is sort of like a little bit cowgirl, western, hat. We are we on are cool, cold, cold mountain. mountain. Yeah. G-Squared's version. Really, really sweet guys, and I think it's gonna be really fun. I mean, the set's amazing, the clothes are amazing, the shoes and the hat. So, I get like a giant, amazing poncho, it's amazing. I have like these huge, high waist pants, very huge, but like super straight. No, and they're like corduroy. I mean, it's a party more. So it's like uh, this huge scenography. I'm happy that I'm doing this show because um, I like designers. I like how they're doing, how they're mixing clothes. It's amazing. All girls they have a lot of clothes, so it's winter. I have something heavy too. You will see it, and a big hat. It's such a young spirit and it's a bit of a rock and roll, so I guess all the girls love it. Our girl today, she's a tough rebel pioneer. That means she's got some borrowed antique silhouettes, like fitted little coats with a full length skirt, and she's teaming them with like a biker jean or a biker pant. It is so much fun here, and they always come up with these amazing ideas. Today we have ice skating on the runway. <laughs> She's toughening them up. She's kind of halfway man, halfway girl. Um, naturally topped off by a 17 centimeter skates. Just, just to make it easy for them to get down this mountain. They are they shoes. Are shoes. They're shoes. They're shoes. They're shoes. They're shoes. Wait, they just get ready. Like get ready. They're, they're not really they're, sliding. They're pretty genius. We wouldn't kill the girls. They can walk in them. Just leave it to the boys at D-Square to wake us up in the morning. Those dressed up cowgirls were just the thing I needed. So much fun, they're full of life. I love the juxtaposition of the fur and the leather and the torn jeans. I 
I'm very happy because uh, I see the, the brand that is growing, growing, growing. And what I like very much is the consistency because they don't go in a different angle, different direction every season, but they have an incredible consistency. I love my look, it's so western. I love it, it's really cool. Look at me. Fur, leather, ice skating. <laughs> How fun is that? It's so cute. They wear hats and gloves. gauntlets. Big, brimmed, tall, round top. Because it's going to snow and they can't ruin their makeup, right? Rock and roll chic, and they just nailed it. I think they're just incredible designers. I love them so much. It's just, you never expect what they're going to deliver next. And they always do great. I love it. Really, really genius, they are talent, uh, they are very passionate and they work in day and night on the collection. So they really love what they're doing. This uh, I think is the best. This is what makes Milan Fashion Week so diverse and so much fun. Everybody is doing their own thing and doing it really well, and it, it's a joy to be here.